Now, one of the coolest creatures we found in Borneo was the Kinabalu red leech. Now, people think, leech, that's got to be a blood-sucking animal, right? Not necessarily. Now, what makes the Kinabalu red leech very special is its specialized diet. These leeches actually prey on other segmented worms. The earthworm is a favorite food of these special leeches, and take a look at what we were able to film while we were in Borneo. Check this out. So this, Gage actually spotted it. This is a carnivorous leech. Now this guy poses no threat to me because his diet is worms. And they will actually use this probing mouth to locate an end of a worm and they will actually slurp it up like a giant thing of spaghetti. Really, really cool. Very interesting Jack. species you can find in Borneo. All right, so we have actually found a delicious worm to feed this. And David here is going to get some high quality 4K HD video of the showdown. And sell it for millions. And sell it for millions. Exploitation of wildlife. Immediately viral. Giant carnivorous leech eats giant earthworm. Think you're ready? Bring it. All right, here we go. Carnivorous. Put the worm on the ground so it looks like. Oh, 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 he's. The leeches are able to eat the earthworms by sucking them through a suction-like mouth. And then what they do is they'll actually compress the insides of their body, squishing the worm inside of them so that they are able to kill, subdue, and digest the worm. The Kinabalu red leech is actually endemic to Mount Kinabalu in Sabah, Malaysian Borneo. Endemic means that these ridiculously crazy creatures don't exist anywhere else in the world. Now the Kinabalu red leech gets its name from not only its place of origin, but from the striking color of its skin. Now these red leeches are a striking color and they are able to probe through the underbrush, through the leaf litter, along streams, just popping that mouth up and down, smelling, 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 and once they've got a scent of a worm, they lock on, they find the body of the worm, and they scan, they scan up and down the worm until they find an end, and then they suck it in, suck it all the way down like a huge string of spaghetti, and then they crush it and digest it. Super crazy creatures, super ridiculously crazy.
Another really cool type of creature we encountered was the trilobite beetle. Check this out. This is a trilobite beetle, which is one of the coolest beetles here in Borneo. Look at this, I'm gonna see if it'll walk onto my hand. The head is super small and it's all the way down there. This is a female. Males actually look much different. And this female is quite large. But this is one of the coolest primitive looking insects. There she goes. Look at that. What a bizarre creature. What's really interesting about trilobite beetles is that they belong to the family Lycidae, which is the net-winged beetles. Now, even though the females are almost trapped in a larval-type form, the males have wings and look relatively like normal beetles. This is why the males went unnoticed for so long. Scientists could only find the females, thinking that the males looked like something similar, maybe a little bit smaller. They were only on the hunt for trilobite beetle-looking males. But then they actually found a male and a female mating. And it was at this point that they realized, huh, the males and the females look 100% different. Now that is an example of sexual dimorphism, when the male and the female look very different from one another. Super, super cool armor that she's covered in. All these spikes, big plates and everything. Super, super awesome. I was really hoping we'd get to see some of these. You regularly find them on these kind of rotting logs. Uh, they eat a lot of just junk that they find on these logs. Wow. She moves almost like a caterpillar. <laughs> She'll use her abdomen to kind of, like you can see her abdomen that she's pushing down to actually propel herself forward. Like an inchworm. She's actually using a cloacal pad, looks like, for traction. How strange. Now these are technically beetles, which are order Coleoptera, which is a very, very large and diverse group in the insect world. Very bizarre. Really, really cool. Well, I got some cool footage and I'm gonna probably voice over some really cool facts because right now I don't think I could think of anything while this alien, literal alien, is crawling on my hand. There's actually a lot that's unknown about trilobite beetles. Most scientists don't even agree on what they're even eating. We can only suspect that, being beetles, they're chewing on something out there, probably something slow moving as they don't really move very fast. But they are an oddity, a very, very strange invertebrate native to Southeast Asia and the island of Borneo, but a really cool species that I really enjoyed finding. Wow. One of the many beetle species <laughs> I'm hoping to find while I'm here. Check. How strange. Let's let her get back on her way. Look at that. Oh, she left a wonderful present for me on my finger there. Poop. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. Gorgeous beetles. One of, by far, one of the coolest species you can find here in Borneo. Oh, you're so cute. So cute.